Hey everyone, I'm meteorologist Aaron Minkowski with your forecast for this Friday. Oh, it is cold this morning with temperatures in the mid teens, wind chills near zero. Highs today near 20 degrees with partly sunny skies. Clouds increase tonight with some snow arriving by Saturday morning. All right, Aaron, thanks. I'm Madison Carter. We're going to take you through the 716 in two minutes. In a matter of hours, former Congressman Chris Collins, now a convicted criminal, will learn how he'll be punished. He is due in federal court in New York City this afternoon. He faces a max sentence of four years and nine months, but probation office is recommending Collins goes to prison for a year and a day. Our Ed Dranch is in New York. He will bring us the latest all day long. And new this morning, a meeting between the Buffalo Public Schools and Section 6 over the section's realignment of football conferences has been canceled and the public meeting scheduled for tonight has been moved from the eight days of hope building to the St. John Baptist Church Family Life Center that will be held tonight starting at seven o'clock. This realignment basically is keeping BPS teams from competing with anyone outside of the city. The superintendent and Teachers Federation president are both suing or threatening legal action over this. And tonight you're gonna have a chance to meet some of the hardworking women of the Buffalo Buttes hockey team. The Buffalo History Museum is welcoming members of the hockey team for a meet and greet autograph signing with pictures and more. Admission is free. It'll run from three to seven. That's your 716 in two minutes. We'll have another update just before noon.